Hey everybody, Joe here with Rug Fabrication. Wanted to let you guys know we are getting knee deep into this E10 2002 build. First thing we're going to do is cut the front end of the body off that we can get better access to the front frame for fabrication. Then we're going to kill all the sound deadening inside this car. There's still too much rubber and grime on it. We want clean sheet metal so we can fabricate with good execution. After that, we're going to use these laser beams to align our E46 subframe. That's going to allow us to put 30 years more modern suspension into this car than it was originally manufactured with so it handles better. The big deal with that is we're putting custom in-house developed top hats with full camber and caster adjustment that you can follow on just about any chassis in terms of process into this car. And those are going to be custom tailored to fit coilovers that are way newer than E46. You're not going to want to miss the reveal. Check out the process and learn as we go. All right, so we're going to take the whole front nose off this thing. The goal is to make the nose bolt on in the future. So we're going to tube chassis from here forward, put the skin on it and make it bolt on and off. So taking the motor in and out is going to be a lot easier. Michael doing the dirtiest job ever. Blow torch, dry eyes, getting all of this uh, sound dampening off. Fun stuff. So we've finally taken the front subframe off of this chassis, the original one, for the last time. Now we're going to use uh, this cool tool that projects a plus sign of angles and uh, keeps them automatically vertical and horizontal. We're going to use that to locate the center of the strut and draw that down to the cross member. We happen to have the stock dimensions from an E46, our suspension donor, and we're going to take that exact same offset and reproduce it so we have the same steering geometry angles mostly caster in this alignment case as the stock E46. That way this car handles as similar as possible to the way E46 would. So let's get this marked out. We've got a somewhat transparent paper template on top here and we can backlight it and verify that it's nice and centered on the hole. We just have crosshairs in there. And you take the light away, the laser beam penetrates the center crosshair, which means that we are lined up with the center of the original strut, which means that line right there is going to line up with the stock strut location. We're kicking our axle three quarters of an inch forward from that place. So we can put a mark there, top and bottom. And then we're going to go three quarters of an inch in front of it and then do the subframe offset for an E46 based on alignment numbers from the original car. That's cool. This is cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> this is really cool. Cool, man. That's actually a really sick way of doing this. I like that. Yeah. Cool. Boom. Try that on prescribed. Cool. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> and here we see the engineer in his natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> this is an EGD. So we got this over here. We're going through our center line here. That's it's off to this side. Should we try to make it look like it's at least centered over here too? Oh yeah, we should. It's not the same depth That's that true. matters. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, oh well, Brandon, we chalk this one up to you being okay. right.
Okay guys, continuing on with the BMW build, we've stripped all of the paint off the front end, the engine bay, uh, most of the car, all the sound dimming's out, uh, making good strides there. We chopped the front end off, as you can see. We also got our subframe mounts in for our new subframe. They're just tacked in for now. We also cut out the whole trunk deck to prepare for the rear subframe. Um, we have started working on our shock towers on this side already. I pulled out a whole gusset. We trimmed out the, the connection point for the engine wall here, side engine wall to the frame rail. Um, it was uh, kind of a little lip gathering rust. And so we took that out for some bolt clearance, also eliminated a rust trap. We will re-weld that and reinforce it. Um, this side is completely trimmed out to fit our new shock tower stops. We're gonna weld those in. Um, we haven't done that side yet. We're gonna show you the whole process here, do a little time lapse and probably cut out a little bit and talk about what exactly we're doing over there. Um, so let's get into it. All right, so first we marked it out with our template with the original hole. You can see it down there on the floor we cut out. Then we put these two little marks, one here and one here. And that lines up with these little mouse bites in our plasma cut top hat. And then you line up there, and line up the front one there. And uh, that's where she's gonna sit. So obviously this plate's in the way down here. We're gonna pound that forward and reattach it so that we still have our gusset. We'll trim up everything in here. We'll box this in here and uh, get this thing welded in. Hey everybody, as you can see, uh, really exciting. We got the front suspension mounted up on one side. It's kind of a temporary setup. So we put this together to be able to evaluate some of the geometry and ride height. And we got both the custom shock towers welded in. The exciting thing about these is we put them together and it's hard to see, but the whole top of it slides. So this gives us actually adjustment on our caster. And these plates were camber plates from the uh, JRZ, the manufacturer that built them. So this is actually uh, a set of coilovers from a 2019 BMW M4, the F82 chassis. So really modern, really awesome uh, dual rate coilover setup. Uh, they're basically uh, like an entry level track setup or a really high end street setup. So really sweet suspension, adjustable camber and caster now. So we've got fully adjustable geometry. Uh, issue with when we set this thing up is that our steering arms, our uh, control arms are actually sitting a little bit, a little bit at an angle. So we're gonna wanna drop those back down in terms of angle. 
by moving the frame mount up. So we've got to pull our entire front cross member up. So that's going to include taking the boxes off the bottom of the frame that were OEM, building some boxes that are very similar up on the top side of the frame. That's going to allow us to raise that subframe and correct the control arm geometry. And that's going to allow this thing to handle quite a bit better, a lot more like a factor E46. And it's going to make the front end work really well. So next episode, we're going to get into those details. You're not going to want to miss it. Thank you guys very much. And we'll see you next time.